relationship that could possibly be on the side that doesn't mean that she's satisfied remember when you have a side piece she holds the cards in her deck remember you're the one that has a lot to lose not her Bad and bougie. <laughs> Bad and bougie. <laughs> Fucking that nigga with a Uzi. <laughs> Bad and bougie. Niggas savage, ruthless. Uh, allegedly, I wouldn't even say allegedly. Uh, you showed up on TMZ. You know, um, you broke up the marriage of uh, Offset and uh, Cardi B. Allegedly, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Now, since since all that bullshit didn't happen, you know what I'm saying, and that's behind you. Um, what has been like the backlash and the turmoil that's come from that? Because I know I said I've been getting hella fucking hate. Like everybody hates me, you know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like I was at the point where I really felt I can say this all the time. You know, it kind of gets kind of draining because it's like. I'm so tired of, like, repeating myself to these crazy, like, these people out here, like, y'all, they took this situation, they, like, like, damn, like, everybody got something to say, like, what are you talking about, you don't even know the situation, like, half of these people just be talking, like, they really just be talking, they always hating, all in my comments, in my DMs, they found my parents' page, like, it just gets crazy, like, at this point, like, the only thing I can do is to be happy, focus on my music, and just try to ignore the haters. Is it just me, or does she got like a strong arm grip on that goddamn mic? Man, she's strong arming on that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because the haters gonna hate, you know what I'm saying? Like, they trolling me. I was just gonna ask, because I mean, after so much abuse, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that, does it get hard to even want to fuck around with the industry, period? See, my hardest thing, like, right now is, like, I have a lot of trouble with, like, meeting new people. Like, it's always something. Like, if it's one thing, it's another thing. Like, they always trying to find something about me. And it's just, like, I don't get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of messing up, like, on the real, like, they messing up relationships, friendships. Just a lot of shit that I've had, like, with people that I know that are in the industry, you know? All right, I'm going to tell you this right now. She going to get a lot of women pissed off, all right? Because one thing women can't stand is the goddamn side piece, man. That's out here. I don't know what's up with Offset, man. I mean, listen, he put out these tweets, you know, saying I'm gay and all this other stuff, as you guys can see right now. The Rainbow Coalition out here. Look at him. Got these lesbians over here showing public affection. and Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But look at the dudes, though. Celebrating about dudes hugging and kissing each other. Two big burly men rubbing their feet together in bed. Kissing each other's necks softly. Got chest hair rubbing on back hair. Hitting it from the back. How you gonna tell another man, tell me when you coming? Ah! Thought of that makes my meat go soft. I mean, listen, man. He's hitting up people's on DMs from this, this, ah. Uh... Rumors is going around. I don't know, man. Is this this is just looking kind of ugly right now, man. I don't know why is Offset's females all strong on shit like strong arming, bodybuilder, body fix a bodybuilder bitch bodies and shit. Good God, man, oh man. Like this was never my intention to do any of this. Like nothing. I've been doing my music. Things happen. You know, I was trying to be mature about the situation. It is what it is. But it's like, I moved past that. I really want to focus on my music and push my music because I have a real talent. You know, I do have something that's affecting, like, the talent. Man, these hoes are always trying to get one up on people, man. This chick is trying to promote herself already, man. Listen, she's doing what, like, the Black Chinas have done in the game. The Amber Roses when they were strippers. Man, all these hoes are the same, man. All these hoes is just trying to just come up on somebody, man. Listen, 
She ain't no different from anybody else. Cat stacks. Cat stacks, bitch. Those of y'all remember cat stacks? Yeah. All these little come up sluts and whores that come up in the game and just try to make a name for themselves, man, by smashing other wives' husbands, man. Come on. But hey, it is what it is. That ain't she's a side piece for a reason. That's what I mean. That's what it is. Side about things like people just looking at me like, what's up with you and said, what's up with you? But really and truly, she's not the cause of Cardi B and Offset breaking up. So I know women will kind of get a little pissed off and all in their emotions, but you got to kind of understand certain things, man. Like, you know, she's not the centerpiece of what happened between Offset and Cardi B because they kind of already were drifting apart in the first place. You know what I'm saying? And that's what usually happens. You get that drifting matter in the, in, in the situation in your relationship. And then the next minute, you have somebody involved because you just want something on the side. You want to smash it out real quick. You know what I'm saying? You want a little smash you on the side. But that may not be the reason why they broke up. It could have been they broke up before for arguments and shit. And he so happened in between, you know, fucking around with a different girl. Because, you know, shit, shit happens, man, like this, man. Sometimes relationships are like that. You just, you just, you know, you grow apart. You feel me? And so and so, but it's like, you know, let's focus on my music. Like, let's see what's up with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But people, they're going to talk. They're going to say what they want to say. I'm just trying to get through this. No. Focus, focus on your music. <laughs> This chick is out here for a career. Oh, sign me up for American Idol. <laughs> oh, man. What's your... <laughs> I wonder what her single's gonna be. Trip, trip. Wet, wet. Side piece getting offset. Trip, trip. Wet, wet. Side piece getting offset. <laughs> trippity, trippity, trippity. Weppity, weppity, weppity. Put in it, put in it, put in it. <laughs> All right, let me stop, man. I was just bullshit. It's on my music. Now, you being on the industry scene and doing music and being having the influence you have, has there any be people in your life, whether it be in the industry or otherwise, that's been positive with you and helped you get through this situation? Yeah, so if it wasn't for, like, my family, um, my closest friends, and really just, like, finding myself, like, I probably would have been really, like, lost. Like, the first... Like, when it hit, like, when everything came out, like, me coming from where I'm coming from and, like, never being in so much lime, like, so much spotlight, it was, like, really, like, I, I do admit, like, I was really depressed. Like, I was just lost in, like, how to be accepted. Like, I felt like the whole world was against me. Like, I was, like, damn, like. She tried to, ha, <laughs> she, <laughs> I feel like the whole world was against me, probably, but she playing the sympathy act. Man, listen, man. These girls knew what they signed up for, man. You whores, you hoes, knew exactly what you signed up for, man. We ain't decided we want to go ahead and sleep around with somebody else's husband, man. I could kind of, I could, I could side with this with the real women out there. I get it. You can't have a respect for a low down, dirty scoundrel. That's one thing, women. That's one thing with women, right? They don't like. They don't care if you fuck with a baby daddy. Or dude that's in a relationship. But if a man is married, bro, women don't like shit like that. They normally don't like to see other other people cheating or another woman trying to steal another man from a relationship. Believe it or not. If you ask a lot of women out there, they hate that shit. They don't have no respect for that whatsoever. You feel me? But hey, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> Oh, trip, trip, wet, wet. Nobody gonna fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta go to studios in different cities, and I gotta show my face places, and the people looking at me like, oh, that's the girl that home wrecked the... <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? It just be, it is what it is. So it's just like, shit. I'm just now trying to focus on my music. In other words, it is what it is, shit. See... In other words, she don't give a shit. She don't respect people's marriages. Hey, it is what it is. I was getting paid. Hey, that nigga, hey, it is what it is. He gave me the money. See, it was just a service because she a hoe. 
this is what's become of most of the black women. Not saying all black women, but black women out here, man. Y'all gotta, man. This is sad, man. This is this is setting y'all back. Y'all gotta go out here and be fucking around with dudes that are married. Hey, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. This shit crazy. Can like move past that shit, like. They always say good publicity or bad publicity is still good publicity. Has this helped your bag or has this affected your bag in a negative way? A nice Balenciaga bag. I like that bag. Get in your Okay. How you gonna say? <laughs> this man must be trolling, man. Shout out to uh, Real Life Street Stars, by the way. Those of y'all subscribe to that channel. But listen, man. How you gonna say? <laughs> Come on, man. How you gonna say? Has her being the side piece <laughs> to offset <laughs> damage her career? What career? <laughs> oh, I see you got a Balenciaga Lago bag and shit. Whatever the fuck. Balenciaga. <laughs> Come on, man. That bag is fucking expensive as shit. This bag right here is, is about a good almost $20,000. Come on, man. I'm pretty sure she's doing good. I think about, what, 20 grand for that bag? A little bit under than that? To all the haters out there that have said that this Balenciaga bag, that y'all are tired of seeing it, this is one of my favorite motherfucking bags, okay? Mm. So if you don't like it, I'm going to have a peel box pretty soon. You guys are welcome to send me new Balenciaga bags. I'll send my favorite choices of this. To y'all. <laughs> Yo, she trolling right now. She about to be the female black version of a 6ix9ine right now. She's taking over 6ix9ine's place. She's going to be the most hated girl in America, but it's going to get her a lot of views. Because, listen, man, she's already on the rise. Why the hell is her hand so goddamn long, man? I be questioning myself about the type of women that Offset be fucking with on the side, man. Look at, look at, the, look at this shit, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. In the DMs, nigga. You see, now you want to say I'm gay. And all this other. Oh, my shit was hacked. Uh, nah, nigga. I think you got caught with some trannies. <laughs> Yo, what's going around, man? Offset got caught with some trannies. Yeah, I'm really surprised with these fruity tooty rap niggas. These do, I'm man, let me tell you something. I like wearing fitted pants and stuff that lock on to me, but some of these dudes, man, them shits be, mm, mm, bugaboo, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, should be crazy. This year, come on, our Balenciaga, help your girl out, because everybody always talking about my one bag, like, dang, but, get her another bag. what was the question, shit? Has that shit affected, has that shit affected your bag? <laughs> Like your 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 money. Don't look like my bag's affected, you know. It look like a nice bag. It don't look like it's affected too much, so. Already. All I'ma say, you know, let's let, let they 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 whatever you guys this year will get to know the real summer bunny. You know, you guys got to see tons of size. Like you got to see me at my work. I like the heavy promotion that she's putting out here, folks. You know what I'm saying? Cause she want everybody to really be in tune with her. You know who she is and shit, you know. But hey, it is what it is. She trying to get her bag. She like any other come up slut that's out there. <laughs> and all you idiots out there is buying this shit, man. Come on, man. First, you got to see me go through different stages of my life, like dealing and with such a big situation. So like here. On now, I really want everybody to get to know the fun side of the summer bunny. Why everybody like the summer bunny? You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to be a part of the sauce, so we're going to sauce it up this year. But yeah. So, you know... Man, come on, man. This shit ain't right. So, you known for being a hoe on the side. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Because... Hoes is in fashion, man. Everybody wants to be a thought these days. You know what I'm saying? Thought, 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 thought. Everybody's a thought. It don't matter. 
But now it's like we're entering the year of the home records now. <laughs> Who got these shorties out here that's trying to smash other people's property, man? This is crazy. Like, hoes, you should just be hoes. But I, I get it. But, like, <laughs> hoes is just, like, really on some really other shit now. It's like they they going after dudes as husbands. But, hey, it is what it is. I mean, girls, women's husbands, I should say. Well, yeah, probably dudes' husbands, too. But it is what it is. I'm just going to say this in, in my, you know, just closing off the video. I know it's a little short video, but I, you know, I'll definitely keep hitting y'all with, with some with some bangers. It's going to take some time. Y'all just be cool with me. November, I'm going to be back on my live stream once my strike is over with. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get back into the grind and making those live videos for my lovely audiences. But listen, man. <sighs> Since when do we appreciate whores, man? I mean, side pieces, man. I get whores, same shit, I guess. You know what I mean? But it's like, I guess it's cool to be a side piece now. You know? I don't know. I wonder how y'all females feel about this now, man. You know? Because this is the coming up age now. You know what I mean? Anyways, all right. But anyways, guys, man, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Rate the video, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out. Do you believe that the Lord tonight has set you free? Yes, sir. Turn around and tell those people. Tell them. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will love a woman. Now li listen. Y'all praise God with him. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now, somebody believe God with him. We don't just preach condemnation. We preach reconciliation. Hallelujah. God, help him, help him, Lord. Help him, Lord. Help him. I wish I had some shown up believers that'll come down here and dance with him and tell him you can do it.